Dynamics making a show video this Sunday uh, 2021 AD as I'm sure you're aware I've got this uh, East India cup here just 10 minutes ago I found my glass cup had a massive crack in it and uh, I just put that out there let you guys know what's going on um, I've got some razors <coughs> and the razor I want to have a shave with just because it's be a stupid shave so I'll try and make that video it's a um, damn is it nine sixteenths I think it's 14 millimeters and it's this ivory um, it says the bank razor does it say that actually yeah the bank razor and it's ivory tang ivory scales and that side, <coughs> excuse me, on the tank it says, I think it says 31 Royal Exchange, does it? Made in Sheffield, England it says, sorry. On this side it says G Naser, 31 Royal Exchange. And I know Royal Exchange really well actually and it's opposite the Bank of England so that's why I guess it's called the Bank Razor and G Naser. I haven't looked this one up, but it must have been a little outlet because that's what there are there. There's like a, a small pen Halligans, um, Mont Blanc, shops like that. And you go inside, you can have a uh, lunch in there. Uh, it's kind of like a, sh a mall, shopping mall, kind of. Um, so I want to see if I can get a shave with that. I honed it up last night, I restored it yesterday, and I honed it up last night. Also, I'll take the dust off this. I rehomed the uh, C Congreves. It's got oil on it. But you saw this one in the last shave. And uh, I did this, gave it full progression on the Azuku Karasu, which I never do that. I save that, that stone for full hollows. So, uh, just see what sort of an edge I got on that. And then. I've got three razors down there. Um, a couple of them, are, I mean, I've only got so much face to shave, but I was, wanted to try this one. It says Venture. It's a Slater Brothers Sheffield, and it's another tapered. Bit of focus. It's a tapered. Uh, this one's a full hollow. But the reason I wanted to try it. Is this on? I think this is on the site. I've put this on the site. It is because I didn't hone it um, good enough. I know that. So I thought I might as well have a little try before I rehone it and pack it. But, um, so I guess that one's not super, super serious. But this one, I wouldn't mind trying this one, which is a Solingen. And it says Hack Solingen. And it says Berg and patent and I don't know if you can see in the camera but this one has got like a sort of like a rose tint to the steel it's stainless steel I don't know I've never seen that before and I don't think it shows up in this light but it's really strange the coating that's on that blade um, and I've it's been on the buffer and everything so I wouldn't mind trying that otherwise I'll never get to try it it is on the site um, okay and I thought I'd dug this one out, which is the uh, Alvarez Gomez. It's a really good, uh, is it a cream or a soap? I suppose it's a soap really. It's hard. It's a soap. And it's got the Theta, as usual. Let's see if we can get a lather. like a mild lemon yeah, the light doesn't I should have worn sunglasses for the shave because I've 
my eyes don't want to accept the light so could be lack of sleep could be my diet I've lost um, over 16 pounds now so it's not bad but it's slowed down as soon as I got to 170 pounds I kind of stuck there for a bit but I've passed that now so I'll just keep going but it's a massive difference in my body the loss of that weight yeah I forgot how good this stuff was look at this this is the stuff that I, I do like the fragrance and I looked into buying the uh, the cologne and all that stuff but what put me off was the price because it's so damn cheap I can't get a good cake. But the soap, the soap, this soap wasn't cheap. It's working well. Just need a touch of water on this side. Try the uh, sea congreves and um, just need to remove a little bit of oil off it. Let's give this one a go. See what I've done to it. nice. Again it's not blowing me away. I can't really complain about that. Um, still not finished with it. I'm really going to try to get it to feel buttery smooth. I mean it just feels sharp. I mean that's fine but I think if I take away a bit more steel and then we'll try it next time. Let's put that out of the way. <clears throat> right, let's go with the, uh, the bank. And <clears throat> I can tell now I've got a little bit of uh, stinging mild stinging on my face I never used to do that before I'm just getting more sensitive the older I get okay let's see what this little thing can do it's got zero weight to it you can't actually feel the edge see if it holds up something like this certainly wouldn't hold up for say two shaves without stropping it it wouldn't work you'd have to strop this Let's see if I could get through this shave. Definitely nice. Just don't want to slice my face off. It's so thin. I 
Yeah, yeah, I can't. There's nothing bad about this so far. <clears throat> it just takes a little bit more concentration because I'm scared of the blade like flipping on me. this every day. It does feel really mild. I had to hone it twice. First time the uh, toe wasn't HHT in. But it literally takes seconds to hone. Right, minutes, not seconds, minutes. <clears throat> There's a bit of a story behind this razor as well. Which is... Years ago... I... Uh, I was on an auction site. Let's see, what's that? That does not look good. I'll take the story in a minute and we finish this show. This pass, I mean, sorry. Should we do? Yeah, that's good. Let me just lather up quickly. some sting in there. Yeah, well, um, I went on a, it wasn't eBay or anything like that, it was an auction house. And they had uh, some razors and there was a box of junk with it. And the razors were just naff, really. But what I spied in the corner looked like a razor roll. But it actually looked too small to be a razor roll. So I thought possibly it's um, a like manicure stuff in there or something like that. But it was intriguing. So I'm, I made sure that I won, I won the auction. And, um, I'll never forget, I received the, uh, paid for it and that, I received my, I didn't pay a lot either, it was quite cheap. Um, and obviously I went straight to what I thought could be a razor roll. And I, I opened it. As I opened it, straight away I saw in gold, it said Harrods of London, South West One. And I was like, oh, and then... I opened it fully and uh, it's like suede. I've pulled the flap open. Wow, there were seven um, razors and there was all ivory. This was one of them. And there was like a henkels in ivory and two, two vintage stub tails in ivory which I've since sold. Uh, and just recently I restored that case. Just purely because I wanted to try to try a saddle soap. Because I hadn't tried that as of yet, as of then. And uh, so I did that, I restored it. And uh, yeah, it's ready. It's ready to receive seven razors. But I'll never forget that. 
What a shock. And why wouldn't they open that up for the auction? But that's a story of, like, of success. You want to see the bad ones, hear the bad ones. My God. I could make a film about them. Barely made a crap I bought. So I've got a few, that's, I don't know what that is, that's a cut, some kind of a cut. It's a good shave, my face is a little bit, <clears throat> it's not really stinging, but we'll wait till we put water on it. This was owned with um, 11 laps on the Izuku, on the Izuku Karasu with a Tomo, with a Tomo sorry, and uh, I said obviously I set the bevel on the 1K, and then that's all this takes, something like this. But I'm glad I got a shave from it. The bank razor. Really nice. So put that down. Yes, yeah, super super close. Let me wet my face. Oh yeah. I got stinging, stinging. Yay. I think that's my first shave with a 9 sixteenths. I've got another one actually, a nice one. It's not that sort of quality, but I don't want to make a habit of it, but just to show, and um, wouldn't you know, I'm still on the uh, Mr. Taylor's. This is going to hurt, it's going to sting, but oh man, I'm still, I'm still in love with this smell. That's what's called a brave face. Because I'm not crying like a baby. But that's a shave. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great time. Bye.